this is Crystal with Mrs. Fine Fettle, and I'm back with a plant pick. It's been quite a while. I kind of took an unintentional winter break, um, but one of my favorite uh, first signs that spring is coming is Helleborus. And they're often called, sometimes you can hear them just called Hellebores, or they're called the Christmas Rose or the Lenten Rose. And I have two varieties growing right here. This is a green one. And here's kind of a purpley pink. Um, I've cut off all the old dead leaves. Not the dead, but they're um, getting a little brown on the edges. So all this is new growth. Um, they have kind of semi-prickly um, evergreen leaves. Um, that remain on the uh, plant year round until you cut them off like I did. Um, the flowers have five petals for the most part and I say petals with quotes because they're actually sepals um, and they so they don't fall off like a petal would they just stay on for a really long time. Uh, you can get these in actual doubles so more sepals um, those are really pretty and they uh, range from chartreuse you know green color to even like a really deep 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 purple so um, they're I just think they're gorgeous a lot of people don't uh, really know about them because uh, they bloom so early in the you know late winter slash early spring so that a lot of people you know don't even realize them they're not really out in the garden centers when people um, are buying plants they like well-drained soil um, they can tolerate some shade but they um, they like uh, full sun just as much as anything else would but a lot of times they're marketed as shade plants but they really um, they can tolerate shade but they like sun so this is definitely one of my top picks. I just think they're gorgeous and love that they're one of the first uh, things to show that spring is on its way.